Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com, and in this video, we're going to put together our map for Pocket Droids Go. Our first step is to come to mapbox.com slash account. This is where all of our account info is. It's our dashboard with our access tokens and all that cool stuff that we're going to need. Next, we're going to head over to our Mapbox Studio section. And right now we can get there from the Let's Get Started section at the top and click on Mapbox Studio. Now what Mapbox Studio is, is an amazing tool that we can use to create custom map styles that are centralized and easily managed from one place that we can stick on our maps through the power of the Mapbox Unity SDK. They've got all kinds of cool options from the mapbox.com slash studio dashboard, like creating a customized map style, visualizing data, developing with the map, and finding inspiration where they've got examples of different people's maps. But we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So let's click on the create a style. Now right at the top, we've got this basic template. But as of the time of recording, this is with a whole new system that's not quite compatible with the Unity SDK just yet. Um, and I don't believe it's compatible with Android or iOS yet either, but they are working on it as fast as they can. So what we're going to do instead is use one of these core styles. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the street style as the template. So I'll just click on that and say create. And this is going to create a map for me based on the streets template. Now there are a whole ton of options in here that we're going to need to get rid of. Um, we're going to end up with maybe five or six styles here. So obviously a whole bunch of these need to go. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of most of what we've got here for us. We're only going to need a few layers to work with. And the streets template has a lot of information that we're not going to end up using. So let's get rid of everything that we don't need. We're not going to need these labels or any of these places. So we're going to get rid of everything all the way down to the roads section down here. So I'm just going to click on the country labels. And then I'm going to go ahead and shift click down to bridges. Maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. There we go. And I'm just going to say delete. OK, cool. And then we're going to get rid of the ferry auto through the tunnels. So just click and shift click. Delete. We're going to get rid of these arrowways. We'll need the water. Let's also get rid of the water shadow all the way down through the pitch. Delete those. Next, we need to get rid of the school, the hospital, and the land cover layers. So we're just going to control click and delete those. So you'll notice there are about 40 layers of roads here, and we really don't need all of these. So we're going to narrow this down by a lot. What I'm going to do is grab the ones that we need and pull them outside of this folder and then delete the folder. So let's grab the road primary. And I guess that dragged the turning features with it, so we'll just delete that. And then we're going to grab this road primary case and drag it out as well. And then we're just going to delete this whole roads folder. So we should be left with road primary, road primary case, building, water, park, national park, and background. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and get rid of this national park as well. We can just work with one park. What we're going to want to do from here is we're going to zoom in a bit so we can see kind of what we're dealing with. Sure, about there is good. And we're going to update this road primary to have a few more values in it. If you click on it, you can see that we've got the styling options here. We're going to go over those in just a second. But first, we're going to go to select data. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to visualize and update what all this layer handles. So as you can see, highlighted right now, we've got a really, really small area that these roads are covering. And we can update this with the filters. Right now it's set to class as any of primary. We're going to click on that and we're going to add a few filter values. So click on the class is any of primary and then click on add new filter value. 
And I'm going to look for street. Perfect. Now we've got all of these streets built in here. We are, however, missing a few things that we're looking for. So let's add a couple more filters. Add new filter value inside of the classes any of. And we're going to look for link. So perfect. We're going to add up those linkages. And then we're going to add a new filter value. And we're going to look up motorway link. And we're also going to add a new filter value for motorway. And we'll want to copy this and set it over to our case as well. So let's head over there and we're going to add a new filter value in our road primary case for link, add a new filter value for motorway link, and then add a new filter value for motorway. Cool. Now that we've got our data sets set up, let's go play with the styles. Click on the road primary, go to style, and you'll notice we've got a couple of different zoom levels here under the color. And what that allows us to do is change the color based on the amount of zoom going on, so the distance. But we only really want one of these. So we're going to go ahead and say edit and delete stop. So that we've only got one set that we are working with. And let's go make sure that road primary case is the same, which it is. Perfect. Okay. And let's hit the rest of them as well, just in one fell swoop. So building, edit, delete, stop, water, park, and background. Edit, delete, stop. OK, cool. Now for our roads, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see this. Right now, everything looks kind of grayish and nasty, but we're about to fix that. Let's go ahead and update all of these colors so that we can see everything that we're working with and work this out accordingly. For our road primary, we're going to go ahead and adjust the color to be B6, A7, A3. And then we're going to set our road primary case to be F3, F5, E7. And then our building we want to update to be A, E, oh, it would really help if I clicked in there, A, E, C1, A9. Then we're going to go ahead and update our water to be 6, 5, C3, E2. And then we're going to update our park to be A9, B, A, B, A. Cool. And then the last step is our background which we're going to update to be C4, E8, C7. OK, we're looking better already. Cool. So let's scroll in a bit and take a look at what we've got. Our buildings are a little too prominent. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to take this alpha for the building. I'm going to click on the building, go to alpha, and I'm going to update this to about 50 so that they've got this faded out look. And then I'm going to go to the stroke, and I'm going to make sure that this is set to 100, which it is, so we're good. And I'm going to match the color of the building to that stroke as well. Cool. Next, our roads look really, really skinny. So let's go ahead and fix that. Go to the road primary. Go to the width, and we're going to update this to be, let's say, about 10 pixel. Let's see how that looks. A little bigger. Let's do something crazy. Let's go 60. You know what? Actually, I kind of like that. Oh, but it does not look good at bigger sizes. OK. So maybe not that much. Let's go down to 30. 